Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Jamie and I make cleaning and organizing videos every Sunday and Wednesday. We are a military family currently living overseas in Germany. If you're here for cleaning motivation, grab your coffee, grab your brooms and let's get into it. So one of the ways that I like to keep my house organized is by having little places where clutter is supposed to build up or is allowed to build up. So I had this little plant pot and the plant that was in it died. Sad day, but that's my life. And I kind of have let clutter build in there and I am I think that's the way I'm going to keep it. So as you can see, there's hair ties. I had some rubber rings. That's what me and my husband use in uniform instead of our wedding bands, chapsticks, hair clips and my husband's watches. Definitely suggest placing bowls or we also use like trinket trays and place them in strategic places for things like sunglasses, keys, memory cards, hair binders, chapstick, things that you just set around and just start to make your house look messy but don't really have like a home unless you just keep putting it back in your purse. All that to say that organization isn't supposed to be Pinterest worthy, it's supposed to be functional, so find what works for you. Surprise! I thought I would add in a little clip of what I'm cooking for dinner tonight, which is one of my favorite fall recipes. It's cheesy potatoes. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I'm just going to show you how I make them. They're delicious, but they are by no means healthy, so if you're here for a healthy recipe, sorry. If you have a recipe that you could share with me or anyone else in my comments, something that's good in the crock pot or a soup or another baking recipe, I would love to know because I'm feeling very uninspired. If it's healthy, that's even better because my husband would prefer that, but if it's not, I'll probably still try it. So just um, give me your ideas in the comments if you have a link to a video you've made or watched or a recipe to your blog or something on your Pinterest you want me to check out, I would be happy to go see. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With the habits of the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our home
next clips are going to be of me packing for my husband to go to the field. So I've just started making little piles around the house of things that I need to pack. And then um, he went downstairs and pulled out everything from those bins that need to be packed. So it kind of looks like a mess down there. And if you've seen my military gear organization, you'll see that I've organized it all down here. So I just needed him to go in the boxes and pull the things out and then I would go pack them. I'm not packing it very well right now because I'm going to bring most of this stuff upstairs and pack it when I go through his clothes. And then just a little side disclaimer, I do not have trash bags down here. That is my plastic recyclables that I just need to take to the recycling center. And I gather it out here because I just think it stays clean in my house as opposed to getting all grimy and gross in my garage. I'm a weirdo, but we have the space for it. And it reminds me that I need to take them to the recycling. So here you see me rolling my husband's shirts. In the military, we call this a ranger roll. And you just take about three or four inches from the bottom of the shirt and you fold it up. And then you fold in the arms. And then you fold the shirt in thirds and then roll it towards the part that's got the three inches and then you just fold it around. If somebody would like a better explanation than what I just gave you, I'm sure there are a million videos on YouTube for this, but I just thought I would show you quickly how I do this. And you can pretty much do this with any piece of clothing. I'm just only choosing to do it to his t-shirts right now because it's only a couple of weeks that he'll be in the field and he can pack as much as he wants so he's not limited on space. There's probably going to be some military spouses in the comments or maybe just in their head who are thinking I would never pack my husband's bag for the field or for a deployment. That's crazy. But because I'm also in the military, I feel like I have some insight into how he's going to use his gear, when he would use his gear. So I kind of know like in what order to pack things, where to pack things, and what will actually be used and what's just like mandatory to have. Take it personal, we just building. It's my season, lay foundation. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me So I'm going to pack all of his clothes into this waterproof bag because it's supposed to be cold and rainy the whole time he is in the field. And if you don't know what I mean by the field, I just mean they're going out 
into like the woods for a few weeks to do training out there. So they're sleeping in tents, they don't have access to showers, that kind of thing. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. And then I'm gonna pack some of his things into Ziploc bags just so they're easy to find. He knows that all of his like underwear is in one bag, all of his socks are in one bag, all of his t-shirts are in one bag, etc. And it's also waterproof, but it also condenses items down. And depending on like what time of year you're going or what you're going for, sometimes I would pack like separate outfits into each bag, like a pair of socks, a t-shirt in a bag together. So he can just pull that out for the day. But because it's wet and cold and rainy, I don't know how many times he's going to want to change his socks or his clothes throughout the day or if he's going to want to change it at all. So from our experience, it's just easier to condense all the same like items into one bag. But that's definitely another way to do it. For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Personally, I would never let somebody else pack my stuff for the field That's just me I want eyes on everything that's going in my bag But my husband's a little bit more laid back about things, kind of trusts me, and is just like, I'll just deal with what's there and what I don't have, I won't use. And I'm not like that at all. Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby just give me a sign Baby give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If this video motivated you, please give it a thumbs up. If you still need more motivation, I've linked my cleaning playlist at the end so you can keep cleaning with me. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Baby, give me a sign.